Hey everyone, it's Holly. Um, I wanted to do a special editing video just for the blog to show you the new Color Me Ashley Actions. Um, we've created the set so it's really simple and just easy to use. When you open up the Actions, you're going to get a set of light leak files. And what I did for my own purposes is that I, there's some, like half of them are vertical and half of them are horizontal. I just like created a horizontal set and vertical set. I just rotated them. That way they're always done for me so I don't have to do any of that later. But I just wanted to kind of share that with you. Um, it makes life a little bit simpler for me. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is take this image of Ashley's, this un untouched, um, I'm just going to go in and and um, just use the patch tool to kind of clean up on the face. I'm not going to run any kind of retouching actions on this one, I don't think. Um, basically, you know, these actions aren't meant to retouch your photo, so use it with your favorite. If you use portraiture or another action or something. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, run the clarify action. And the clarify action just does a nice defog of the image. Uh, it's 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 off, that's on, and basically just kind of cleans up the image a bit so it doesn't have that hazy fog feel to it. Not the kind of haze we want at the end, but the beginning haze. Um, it's basically an unsharpening mask. <clears throat> and then the next thing I'm going to run is quick brighten and contrast. Now I'm going to run it full speed. I'm going to show you what it does. If your image is already light, you can see it's going to blow out everything. But I wanted to quickly show you how you can make that not be that way. If you just open up your layer group, and for PSD users it should already, you shouldn't have a layer group, it should just be the two layers. Um, the first thing I just turn off the brighten shadows because I really don't need it on this image. And then I'm going to double click on the icon next to contrast, and with this one I'm, I've given you control, so I'm going to come in and just take my brightness down a little bit, maybe boost my contrast a little bit. I want her to have that, you know, fantasy kind of, you know, woodsy feel to her. So I want her to have that creamy skin, but I don't want to like blow out the skin, you know, the, the highlights or anything. So I've just adjusted the brightness. You can come a lot down more further. Um, you can run it a couple times if you wanted to. Um, I'm just going to do it slightly. Um, and so the next action I'll run is called highlight the face. I really don't need it much for her face per se. I'm going to just run it and brush with my white brush on the con on the group layer group, kind of bring it over her eyes just a little tad, just to kind of bring those out or and then I'm going to run in her hair. Um, I have a, I just love doing that, especially when their hair is so close to the color of the grass. It just you know helps to kind of bring it out. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and I've got it at 85%. So I'm just going to come in here and just bring out some more details of um, the grass and stuff. I just like it to have a little bit more of that highlight in those areas if I can. So let's see, before, after. And that was highlight the face. Normally on a face that's down, the sun's up above or something or behind them, I have to run it in the face area a lot more or up underneath the chin. Creamy skin. I'm going to just do this just to smooth out some of the tones of colors. Um, she really doesn't need it. And with the white brush. I'm just going to brush in a little bit, you know, use this as needed. If they've got really reddish skin, it would be something you'll want to use. Just just enough to kind of tone it out. You probably won't even notice a difference. Anyway, color pop. So I'm going to run color pop. It's a full blast. And you can see it kind of brought out some of the colors in her hair. If you're not a big color pop fan, you might want to just leave it like that. Um, for me, I'm going to just brush a little bit off of the skin so they're not too reddish. Okay. But I do want certain things to have more pop than that. And so in Photoshop, um, I believe it was CS4, which is what we have compatible for, and up has the option for vibrance and that's why it's not compatible with CS3 is because the Color Me Ashley action does not work with that. We've actually 
utilize that tool because the vibrance tool is going to help preserve a lot of tones. So I'm just going to come in and brush it into um, the grass. I think I'll go over her hair because her hair is not too crazy where it's going to look weird. I'm going to bring it over her dress. And then I think I'll look over her eyes. Her eyes are so blue. And you know, you, you may not normally do something like that, but I think I'm going to do it anyway. And I'll just go slightly over her lips. You could do small brushes with different opacities. You know, it, it's preference is up to you. Um, but what I'm going to do is pop it a little bit more. So I'm going to double click on that layer. I'm going to um, bring my vibrance up more. I like that. It looks cool. For this picture, it just looks really fun. Now I'm going to run the free lens. I really love Ashley's free lens. You may or may not want to use that. It's really just a, a fun way to add that um, effect that you can get by taking the lens off your camera and shooting that way. I'm more scared to do that. <laughs> so I'll just use Ashley's actions. So I'm just going to bring it down here a little bit, just soft. I'm just kind of softening those areas. I want her to have that feel of just, you know, floating kind of look. Alright. I like that. Alright, so I'm going to flatten it with the flatten layer, which is so fun. You can assign a, um, a, um, com like a command, like a, one of your key commands to make that a lot faster. A lot of times I like to do that. Alright, so light leaks. Here we go. I'm going to run, I'm going to do all the light leaks for you just to show you what they look like. We're going to go through them. So you're going to run the light leak action. And what it's going to do is um, um, tell you of the next step that you're going to locate the file that you want to use. So you just hit continue and then you're going to look up, um, you're going to look for your light leak files. So. For this particular one, I'm going to choose this one to start, it's number four. And what number four is going to do is just kind of give me that really pretty hazy feel. Unfortunately, it's on her face, so here's what's really cool I could do. I could flip it, so I can do an edit transform form, flip horizontal, move it over, um, transform flip vertical, move it that way, um, edit transform rotate, you know. Change it around until you like the look. The other option is to use the layer group, the layer mask and you know soften your brush a bit and kind of brush it off like things like their face. Now the other thing I'm going to do is run a second one on this particular one. So I'm going to just go ahead and choose another one. I think I'll do this one because I want some more of these pinks in here. No, let's do this one. This one's kind of cool. Light like six and let it run on top of it. Oh yeah, that's fun. So you can actually combine your light leak layers, which is really, really just fun and cool. I love that. It gives it more of that rainbow effect. It's just really pretty. Too much. There we go. Um, so that's one way to, to, to do the different light leaks. Uh, let's just run another one for fun and see what we get. Let's run one with some more like yellows and greens. Oh, that's cool. Gives it more of that sunshine feel to it. That's really cool. And again, you can run a second one on top of it if you'd like. Um, I think I'll run this one to see what it does. And that gives you a little bit more color. So, okay, so that's that's basically how the whole light leaks things work. Um, so let's just pick one and, and go forward. Um, we'll do this one. And I will run one more just to get my final look. Okay, so now I can, I'm going to just paint off real quick while we're here. Okay. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is run the hazes. So I'm going to start with the sunshine haze. 
which just kind of gives you that sunshine feel. I like this one because I can open it up and double click on the gradient layer and change the direction of the sunlight, like which way it would be coming from. So that's kind of a fun thing to do. So let's delete that and let's do the next one, Rustic Haze. Um, as with all the actions, you can open them and change things. So I'm actually going to open up that levels layer and I'm going to choose my red channel because I want more of a red look to it and I can bring that middle one down a little bit and give me that more rustic feel to it. So you have the option to go in and change those things. That one's kind of pretty. So let's run the moody blue. I picked an image that we could see all pretty much all the actions on. Not every action is going to let you do this. Um, the blue is pretty much good like that, I think. I might take a little off her face, but not a whole lot. Just kind of gives it more of an icy feel. Then the underground is going to be a little bit more of a kind of acid feel to it. And so it has a little bit more layers inside it that you can play with. So you can come in and open the gradient and change it around if you want. You can up it a bit. So it's higher. Um, you can mess with your color balance some, bring it out more of the blue like that if you'd like. All right. And then pink wash is going to give you just more of that pink haze. And it's got, um, when you open it, it has a pink here. So if you wanted to, you could open that up and change the tone of your pink. You may not see it as much on your screen as I do. Um, and you can increase that amount too. And then finally, Vanilla Haze, which I love, um, which kind of has that sunshine feel too. Now here's the thing about this one is sometimes it's a little too bright. So I come in and I just bring my brightness down and I like to jack up my contrast more. It just feels more, I don't know, fun. Um, and then I might just bring it down a little. I might bring my levels down a little bit on this one. But that, that so anyways, that's the whole Ashley, uh, Ashley Naki's Color Me Ashley actions that we've created for you. And we hope that we start seeing a lot of color in your photos and you have some fun with them. All right. Thanks a lot, guys.